Welcome to Cub Scout Kitchen. Today we've got another nice uh, Cub Scout friendly recipe for you. Today we're going to make some apple pies. So we're going to use a few simple and mostly pre-made ingredients and that's what's going to make this nice and easy for your uh, typical Cub Scout. So we're going to have some pre-made pie, uh, pie crust. We're going to have some of your favorite pie filling. We got caramel apple here today. And you're gonna need an egg. That's it for the food ingredients. You're also gonna need a pastry brush, a couple of small pie tins, uh, a spoon, and a knife. Uh, you can use a butter knife if your scout's not quite ready for a sharp knife yet, or you can use a paring knife. So we have our pie crust already laid out. So we're gonna take one of our pie tins and you're gonna put it upside down in the middle of the pie crust. Right. Then you're gonna take your paring knife or butter knife and you're gonna cut a circle around that leaving about an inch of space, maybe a little bit less. There we go. And you're gonna trace a circle all the way around. Oh, you're getting too wide there. take your pie tin, flip it right side up, and you're going to take that circle of pie crust and pick it up and you're going to put it inside of the pie tin. Oops. All right. Press the middle down and you want the pie crust touching the pie tin on the bottom and the walls all the way around. All right, you're going to have some rippling, that's fine. You're eventually just going to press those ripples in. Yeah. Right. There's going to be a little extra dough. That's okay. Uh, we'll take care of that later. Make sure it's all the way in those corners. All right. Then you're going to take about half of your can of pie filling and you're going to spoon that into your pie. Get the can closer, it'll be easier. Doesn't have to be perfectly half, but about half. We're gonna make two pies out of this set of ingredients. So we can take that pan and you're going to put that to the side for now. And then we're going to look at our uh, crust uh, ring here again. We're going to use this to make a lattice for the top. So you're going to take your paring knife again and you're going to cut this ring into two rings, cutting all the way around the middle. These pies will be a little rustic, so if it's not perfect, It's okay. It adds character. Don't cut through it yourself. Okay, let's start over here and come back the other way. And then cut there. And then cut up top. So we cut the into two rings and we cut those into quarters and that's going to give us eight strands of pie crust. You can stretch them out a little bit and make sure they're straight. 
straight and even. And then we're going to use these to make a lattice on top of our pie. So we're going to do a little bit of a close-up look at what that's going to look like. All right, so now that we have our pie filled, we are going to do our lattice on top. So we have eight strands of pie dough. Uh, they are about three quarters of an inch wide. And you're going to set up a lattice that looks like this. All right, so once we have the lattice on, you're going to take a fork and you're going to press the fork around the rim uh, and that's going to press the edges of that lattice into the rest of the pie dough. So you're just going to just press on it lightly and you're just going to go all the way around. You don't have to push it that hard. And then we're going to want to take that paring knife and you're going to go around the edge of the pie, trimming off all of that extra. And then the last step is to take an egg wash. So you take an egg, about a tablespoon of water, beat it up, and a pastry brush. And you're just going to lightly brush some of that egg wash all over the top. That's going to help those pieces of lattice uh, stick together after it's been cooked. And it's going to give the uh, final crust a very nice, shiny looking finish. So once you finish your first one, then go ahead and make your second one, like this. So we now have two pies. What we're gonna do is we're now going to move those onto a baking sheet. Like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick them into a 425 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Right, go ahead.
All right, so time is up and it's time to take these beauties out of the oven. Now, parents, you might wanna take these out of the oven because they're gonna be a little bit hot, uh, judged by your scout. So you're gonna slide those out of the oven and you see they are nice, golden brown and delicious. You wanna take those and put them onto a cooling rack. Same cooling rack we dehydrated our fruit on a couple of weeks ago. Multitaskers, gotta love them. So, we've got a couple of nice apple pies, a couple of nice blueberry pies that I made earlier. So whatever kind of pie you like, that's what you can go with. Uh, now you're gonna wanna let them sit for at least an hour before you eat them. And I know that's gonna be hard to do, but trust me, uh, your patience will be rewarded. Uh, eat them with some ice cream, eat them uh, a little bit of powdered sugar, just eat them with a fork. Any way is good. So, nice pies, nice and easy, and even your Cub Scout can do it.